Well, hello and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword video. And last time, Opal was defeated because, you know, I just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just high level than every, than I'm supposed to be, I guess? I don't, I don't even know. But anyway, this time, we will be seeing what's next. I actually don't know what's next. Um, something about Solidipidipida? Um, and also Marnie's hometown? I don't even, I don't even know what's next. But obviously, we're gonna get a cutscene here. And something is gonna happen. Hold on now. I got a few errands to run, and Hammerlock will care to join me for a journey. If you're headed to the next jump stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. Jeez, I'll find my own way? With pleasure, <laughs> I'm savage, bro. They say two companies after all. So we tell you to Hammerlock. Remember guys, her favorite uh, breakfast is uh what was it again? Cereal? I forgot. Um her favorite color is deep purple and she's eighteen guys. Oh sixteen, right? Hemlock. Always such a dusty town. I suppose some Pokemon for it that way. Gosh, you probably so slow to walk with. Actually I do need to go to a Pokemon Center. Real quick here. The reason being is because I want to drop my Pokemon. Since I evolved it, you know, what's the point of keeping it around? Anyway, she went to Hammerlock. Don't know exactly where she is. Um, I actually don't know where she is. We could get our daily battle for a rare candy or something. Oh, there she is. Oh, there's Bayday, I should say. <laughs> What's up, sucker? You got kicked out. Idiot. Come to gawk. Come to gawk at me. Now that I've had my gym, my challenge bat taken away and my gym challenge stats revoked. How, how could, can you really afford to waste time like this? Of course. Oh my god. I'm, I'm actually a savage guy. Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. Boy, you're the one who needed to worry about catching up with me. Okay, I'm like, anyway. I'll have you know though that I haven't given up. I must become the champion or tell out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Oh, that boy. Now, <laughs> now that's what I could call pink. So sincere and straightforward and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Oh my gosh. Oh. I love Opal. She is actually probably my favorite gym leader so far. <laughs> time for my time for my gym mission, child. Huh? What? <gasps> pink, pink, and pink. Congratulations, child. <laughs> wait, wait. I, I just said she's my favorite gym leader so far, and I think yeah, that, that's definitely solidified it. Miss Opal, what in the world has gone into you? You, you were used by Alina, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her thrown, only to have, only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she's done with you. Come with me, child. I'm able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put into. Are you are you testing me? Well, very well. I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you. Um, I'm. I plan on making sure you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. For right now, child, you should head to Sir Sir Chester. Sir Chester. Sir Chester. Uh, I take it that you know how to get to Route 7. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's an interesting kind of list. No, I don't know where Route Seven is actually. This way. Oh, I can I can go I can go to the right now, guys. Fantastic. Um, you guys will just ride our bike there. I uh, don't know. Yeah, I mean, just go straight to Route. Oh, there's Sonia, of course. He's gotta always gotta be something in my way. Hey, yeah. <laughs> the badge part been going well. I've been doing some research on the Rune Stone side and Sword and Shield. What kind of Pokemon were they? And where are they now? 
Well, I think one is in the like forest near my home. I just have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look into the factories and kaboom. Bruh. Are you kidding me? What was that? Hemlock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman's power plant is, isn't it? Hmm? A power spot? You mean like where you can dynamax? What's wrong? Well, we got a little from. We're gonna read from from the power spot detector. Let me dynamaxing is possible here. Hey, Sonya and Clifford too. You felt you felt you, you found us quickly. What? Wow, my goodness. Seems Sharon Merle is testing something again. This is bad. Who well, might start dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock? That's so. I can make sure the champion knows. Or the chairman knows. You'll you'll just get lost, <laughs> Leon. Let me. I'm going to. I'm looking forward to you completing in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on the on the quaking to the adults. Head to Sir Chester and get the gym badge. Okay then. Oh, just hop in the background. Oh, okay, I see. Yes, talk to me. Anyway. Oh, pleasure, bro. How? In the span of like what five minutes, I met. I. In the span of before the gym leader to now, I met Marnie, I met Sonia, Leon, Bede, Hop. Yo, I'm about to just meet the chairman Alina too. I'm, just, I'm gonna meet everybody because that's apparently this game. You just keep meeting people. First that force, then that mad Chris. I've been lost in every sense of the word. But look, I finally caught up to you again. How's me to route seven? If you, I could use a, a bit of competition to motivate me. I mean, yes. Opal said to go to Sir Chester, and Leon and Sonya said to go to Sir Chester. So I think, and then you tell me to go to Sir Chester. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should go to Sir Chester. I don't know. Is that, is that crazy talk right there? I, I don't know. Anyways, wait, isn't this the place with the, uh, dude, I'm tripping balls. Isn't, this looks super familiar to that place that the gym leader the water gym leader. So the water gym leader was here. Oh, and I, I wrapped it around back to a moto stoke. Okay, that's what it was. Cause I feel like I'm here, right here. I feel like I'm right here. But no, I'm right here. It looks like I can go to the tunnel, but I'm probably gonna go to Route Eight, and then Sir Chester, and I can loop back to a uh, Spike Muth. Okay, so this is the um, Marnie's hometown, right? So I'm making a little bit of a, a ring here, and we'll, we'll get going. Alright, Cliff, you and I both know that I gotta keep trying on different strategies. I'm gonna get strong even to catch up with Lee. No, not just catch up, I wanna surpass him. So I think so I think you know what's coming next, mate. Let me try out our latest out my latest in the battle against you. Okay, if you just wanna keep losing and giving me XP, that's fine. Just say just say that. Okay, because you're not you're He has five point one this time, guys. How did Trevor not? That's interesting. It's a ghost and a grass type. So, fighting move is going to be useless. Alright, time for me to test exactly how far I can go with my latest and greatest team. Um, 34. Okay, that's pathetic. But yeah, um, Trevenant, yeah, you know, it's grass, so you already know what I'm going to do. Oh, look at that, you can kind of remind me of me. <laughs> what, you always getting beat all the time? <laughs> oh, okay. I still only have four Pokemon. I need to get more Pokemon. A Norlax. Okay. I'm just gonna kick this to death, I think. Double kick. It has high defense and HP, but, you know, this double kick should do... Yep, yeah, pretty good damage right there. Only two hits. Looks like Body Slam. Well, that's a surprise. Am I gonna get paralyzed? That's the real question. Oh, of course I get paralyzed. That Body Slam actually did a lot of damage for... For that small one. Uh, what's his name? Hop. Hop is gonna use a hyper potion and fully heals out the snow. Oh, it doesn't fully heal out the snow legs, but that's enough. Okay, sweet. I I was not paralyzed that time. Hopefully, I'm not paralyzed again. Well, it broke through paralysis. That's crazy, guys. Okay, I definitely need to play with these Pokemon way more because that was super clutch. Even though I didn't really need it, that was clutch. 
Yep, Skrullux down. I don't, I didn't see what that was, but we're just gonna go with a Serena. But she didn't get a lot of action in the fairy gym. And, um, yeah, and these are, this is a bolt turned. Oh, a bolt turn. It's, um, the evolution of, uh, Yamper. I didn't even know Yamper had evolution, so this is it right there. This looks like a Minet, it looks like budget Minetric, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that that would be insulting the metric. And metric actually looks cool. This Pokemon kind of looks, kind of looks like a dog. I mean, really, the metric at least looks interesting. But yeah, budget metric went down. Even Jolteon's cool. Heat more. Um, you know, I'm just gonna flex and keep on using Serena, guys. That's 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 the flex right there. Using weak Pokemon, I'm just gonna stop the heat more out. That's honestly. I, I highly doubt the heat more can kill me in one hit, and I'm sure I can. I was gonna say I'm sure I can get the heat. I'm sure I can defeat the heat more in two hits, but uh, if, if it's gonna flinch, and then I guess uh, you know, <laughs> I guess that's how it is, huh? Hopefully his last Pokemon has evolved at this point. His um, Guki evolved into uh, whatever that last Pokemon is. I do actually know what it looks like now. I know what all the stars look like now, so. Rolling Boom. Roller Boom? Roller Boom? No. We'll go with the Toxtricity here, because I love the type of advantage. I'm just gonna jab it to death, I guess. I kinda gotta get far to win up in this situation. I mean, good luck. Um, Rilla Boom. Rilla Boom. Like a Gorilla? Rilla? Boom? Boom as in drum? Yeah, it's a, it's a drum Pokemon. Pretty interesting, huh? I guess this is the first time getting a good look at him. I guess I'm not gonna get a good look at him for long, kinda defeat him like hey, but you know, that's uh I got another humanoid ish Pokemon, you know, figure human proportions, two arms, two legs. Standing on the two legs. This is rubbish, my team can't perform if I can't get my own head straight as a trainer. No, I think simply you just need more levels in you. Like once you get more levels in you <laughs> Before before we ever start started out on this journey, I remember watching Leon and Telly. He was like a bright star, so strong I can hardly bear to look at him. But right now I can tell just how strong he really is, and what he's got that I haven't. Dude, look in front of you. Look at what I have that you haven't. Stop comparing yourself to Leon. You're comparing him to me, okay? You need to defeat me first. But I'm getting stronger too. You're not as fast as you, but fun, whatever. Thanks for letting me value with you again. And here I'll help your Pokemon for you. I'll help your team for you. I think I know what I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that. I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion. And I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and I are going to have another battle once I get it, my gym ba badge at Sir Chest. Yeah. Okay. Um, another uh, clean sweep. Not clean sweep, I mean, I took some damage, but... Ether. As a model, I'll show off the pair of my partner, Pokemon. Anyways, we're out here exploring again. We got model Mila. With a Rombibi. A Ribbon. Ribbonbi. Ribbonbi. Like, Ribbon? Is it B? Ribbonbi. Ribbon. Ribbonbi. You know, that Pokemon. It has really low defense, so I should be able uh, to uh, defeat it with a Flame Charge. Yeah, really low defense. I use one of these, like I said, in my Sun and Moon playthrough. Really fun. Had a really, like, Pollen Puff. Extremely strong bug, a bug move. I think it was stronger than Bug Buzz, actually. Um, Vespa Queen. Interesting. Nope. Don't really have anything I want to use. Um, Vespa Queen. Known to have Power Gem. Power Gem? Uh, power. It's uh, the Rock move. The, the, the special rock move. It's really weird. You don't really see a lot of special rock moves. Um, but yeah, I guess it's the best point. Because we saw combis in the game. So anyways, my cinder is getting way too strong. I definitely need to use a different cinder ups. Yeah, I need to use a different Pokemon here. We'll go with uh, Serena, sure. It would have been bad against that last trainer because they used two bug Pokemon. Okay, anyways. You can't, you just can't silence Team Yellow. She's cute, she's tough, she won't take no one's guff. 
our money. She's our money. Okay, so I guess I'm not going that route. Oh, we have an NK here, guys. NK. Yeah, NK. I wonder how you evolve in case. I know you have to like flip your device upside down or something stupid like that, right? Level 40 NK? Jeez. These guys are getting really strong. I wonder if. First off, isn't it funny that the wild Pokemon are stronger than. are way stronger than like. Like level 40 is stronger than any Pokemon we've encountered so far. Like we haven't encountered a single Pokemon from a trainer that has been level 40. And this random NK is level 40. I don't understand. Any hoosies. NK here. Revolving Pokemon, it spins around making its luminescent spots flash. The spots allow to communicate with others by using different powers of light. NK, NK is dark and uh, psychic. So it's a very interesting kind. I think that was the first one of its kind to be that typing. But here we got a, ooh, we got a Carablast. Evolves into, um, Ex Excalibur? Ex is that the Pokemon's name? Uh, we'll throw another Quick Ball. Oh, that's not what I want to do. We'll throw another Quick Ball because the Quick Ball actually matches this Pokemon's color very nicely. Um, and because I'm lazy too, we get it down. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I mean, Rabbit Spin would have. Or Stomp, honestly. I could probably Stomp these and them not die. Um, we got the Car Blast here. So, Bug Pokemon, you evolve by trading. Aromatherapy. Um,. Aromatherapy, we already had it on uh, El Creamy, but it wasn't that good. Clamping a bug Pokemon. A strange f uh, physiology reacts to elemental uh, electric energy in interesting ways. Its presence of a Shelmet will cause the Pokemon to evolve. Oh yeah, that's how you evolve it. You evolve a uh, Shelmet. Whoa. You evolve Shelmet by uh, trading it with a Carablast. And both of them evolve, so I think Shelmet evolves into it. Excalibur. And, um. The, uh, the Shelmet evolves into it. I don't know which one evolves into which. One of them evolves into Excalibur, one of them evolves into, like, the Ninja Bug Pokemon. Okay, we got Thievul. Um. I guess we'll U turn it. I don't think it will die. It might die. It, it, it might die. Yeah, it's probably gonna die. I'm, I'm, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna use a U turn on it. And then we'll see if we can capture it. Obviously not. That's a wolf form of the, the fox Pokemon. Uh, I think it was called Nick. Nick it? Is that what it was the, the fox Pokemon called? Um. Oh, it died. Being attached to driver means that I can get ready anytime, anywhere. Battle Pokemon, Pokemon battles are the same. Anytime, anywhere. So we got a Corviknight driver. Cap, a Cabby Bruce. Corvus Squad, of course, yeah. Why, why would they? Or, yeah, Corvus Squad, Corvus Knight, the Corvus Knight is what I'm referring to. Looks like they have that Pokemon, top advantage, whatever. They stomp that to death. Kaboom. Now, Serena not being too useful in this area. I avoided the Swagger. Isn't Swagger 100% accuracy? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Serena. Thank you. Now we're gonna stomp here. Yeah, this area is not good for grass Pokemon. Heal that. Rough wet. Um. Oh, creamy, I guess. I mean, obviously, the, uh, the uh, toxicity would have been super effective, but, um. You know, I think El Creamy has the least amount of XP here. So we're gonna use El Creamy. We're going to Dazzling Gleam this rough wet. Rough wet evolves into Bravery. I think we've seen Bravery, right? We've seen. At least in the wild area, we've seen Bravery. Or at least I've seen Bravery. Um. Fighting and flying, a really interesting type. I think, is it fighting? I think it's fighting and flying, just like, um, Halucha. Ooh. Oh, that Purloin just ran at me, guys. Not Purloin, uh, Leopard. Purloin is the first evolution, Leopard is the second. I think it just ran at me. Um. We're going to Trop Kick it. Oh, just keep sucker punching me. Um. I actually don't know if I've caught one of these before. Nope, I have not. Oh, well, I guess. Dude, I'm just too strong. Okay, I think. I'm just too strong. Well, I guess Tropic was a same type of bonus. Um. But that's besides the case. 
What is that? That's a Garbantula. Okay, well, we already saw those two. Ooh, we have a Meowth here. Wait, that's not a Meowth. That's a Persker. Per. Pers. Perserker? Perserker. 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 I don't think it's Ghost, so we can stomp it. Yeah, we can stomp it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not very effective. So it could be um, Rock. No, wait. If it's not, wait, if it's not very effective, it's steel. Okay, it's steel. Um, yeah, obviously, right? So I think that chop kick will be useful here. I don't think it's going to kill it, because generally steel Pokemon have very high defense. Yeah, that's going to be, it's also going to be not very effective. Interesting. Attack fell. It's going to really be nullified by the screech here. Um, we're going to give it a few more chop kicks. Um... Because I do want to capture this, it's a new Pokemon. I thought this was Meowth, I guess it's not, huh? It looks exactly like the Galarian Meowth, huh? Doesn't it? Am I dumb? Um, any swagger, that's gonna be useless because I'm not gonna be attacking anyone. And we are going to throw... We are going to throw... We... Alright. We are going... I should give her the, the choice scarf, honestly. That might be the play. Uh, we're gonna throw a Great Ball. The reason why I want to give her a Choice Scarf is because um, that way she would uh, hit faster. Even if I'm locked into one move, I don't think it's a big deal. Because generally her moves aren't really that good, to be honest. Like, Chop Kick isn't really super effective on a lot of things. And U-Turn is just there. I don't even know why I taught her to U-Turn the other, the other time. Perserker. Oh, Berserker! Perserker! Got it, got it. So, see, it, it's, it's Meowth, guys. Doesn't it have, like, that little thing? Viking Pokemon, it appears to have iron helmet. It's actually hard and hair. This Pokemon lives for the thrill of battle. Interest. I do not want to add this guy to my party. I... Okay, I guess... Car Blast, you're gone. Interesting. Berry Tree, we're gonna shake this. Since we're in a deeper route, I think the berries here are gonna be really good. Lychee, Gallon, and Mango? Oh my gosh. Asper. I think we're gonna shake it one more time, risking it. Oh no, please don't take that Gallon Berry. I swear, freaking chipmunk. If you take my Gallon Berry, I'm gonna be very upset. Lychee and Gallon Berry. Those berries are amazing. I remember a long time ago um, farming those berries in like, um. First off, those berries are extremely hard to get if we're referring to, um. Emerald, Emerald, I think that's like the first time you can actually get them and you know extremely rare and there used to have been um, ho Hold berries from event Pokemon because you can't farm them in the game You can only get them during certain events or farming a lot of BP in a um, battle frontier to get them and um, Yeah, and then like in Dine and Pearl, I remember having these berries too. Uh, they were cheated in um, Unfortunately, but you know a lot of people you could have got them from like the and I think there was like a a dark ride event or something but yeah just these rare berries really uh nostalgic to me because uh yeah good times oh they took all the berries no my gallon and lychee okay granted they're not that good in terms of like yeah i'm surrounded by pokemon okay gallon and lychee but aren't that good in terms of like um what they do because they're one time use and um when your pokemon is low in on um if, if they become low on HP, um, Lychee Berry, it raises the Pokemon speed and it's used up. Well, the Gallon Berry, I believe Gallon Berry raises attack. And, um, it raises attack, um, but it, it is used up as well. But yeah, those berries, dude, they're super nostalgic to me. I, yeah, good times, good times. And we got the Soul Rock here. I think Chop Kick will not kill it because I think Soul Rock has high defense, right? Yeah, high de- oh yeah, high defense right there, was able to survive the chop kick, which is impressive. Um, yeah, I think Lunatune, which I don't know if it's in this game or not, but Lunatune has high special defense, so I think that's the, the difference here. But use a great ball, sure. Soul Rush, I'm, I believe they're generally hard to catch, so. We got it, easy. Oh, I, wait, this is not Pokemon Go. If it wins the three times, there's a guaranteed catch. I don't think it's Pokemon Go for some reason. 
Um, but yeah, Soul Rock. Interesting. Psychic and Rock. Uh, Meteorite Pokemon. When it rotates itself, it gives off a light similar to the sun, thus blinding its foes. Even though it has nothing to do with fire type or. Wait, what? Oh, it, it was holding an item. Okay, that was awkward. You know, a bishop. We have um, what is that? Girder? Is that girder? Girder just now? We have a Rhyhorn here. I believe I've already caught a Rhyhorn. I have not. Okay, well, I guess we're capturing a Rhyhorn. Yeah, 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 this is really bad. I guess I should use a Quick Ball because I had no good moves on it. Because a uh, Stomp is not very effective. And uh, Chop Kick is super effective, so unfortunately, I kind of just wasted my only chance. I guess we can try throwing a Great Ball at decent health. Um. See if this captures. If I get lucky, it will. Nope, it does not. Drill run here. Nah, I think I'll just run away for it for now. Whatever. Not a big deal. I should have used a quick ball though. Um, this is a confusing route. Um, I think this is the way to go, so I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna instead go this way. We encountered the Poly Ponyard. They already have one of these, so I'm gonna pass up. Oh, I don't have one. What? And how do we not have any of these Pokemon, guys? I'm gonna chop kick. I guess U turn would have been effective, but I think, yeah, chop kick is good. Lowers their attack. Metal sound. Doesn't catch all these Pokemon here. Gonna take a little bit of time. You guys spit on my screen. Can you guys see the spit? Well, now you guys can because I wiped it off. Yep, a strong Pokemon here. Strong level 41. That's very. I mean, that's almost as strong as um my weakest Pokemon. It's a few more levels as strong as my weakest Pokemon that I'm using on my team. So hopefully, a gym leader, the next gym leader, has like a Pokemon that's level like maybe 48, 50. I don't think the I don't think the next gym leader can have 4850, but hopefully they do because that would be that'd be interesting. Actually, I don't even know the typing of the next gym leader. I totally forgot all these gym leader typings. I know um I know there's like a there's a little girl isn't there like a ghost girl here or something? Um, sharp blade Pokemon. It you it uses river stones to maintain its edges of the blade covering its body. You sharpen, but allow it to bring down opponents. Send it to the box. Um, I guess my Serena is still kicking it. Um, it is a girder, right? It is a girder. I remember my Pokemon. Girder fighting. It evolves from um, Timber and it evolves into Conqueror after it is traded, I believe. And I think we've seen Conquerors in the wild. Just chilling, and we've also seen. Um, I think I caught a timber, so we're just gonna go ahead and get this guy up. Uh, this leftover is really annoying me. Um, we're just gonna get this guy up here. Uh, the stomp shouldn't kill it because a chop kick was a lot of damage and it didn't do a lot. Of that okay, good. Flinch the move, perfect. Um, yeah. These Pokemon are getting, again, like I said, they're getting high up in the levels. 41 is no joke. Like, a, like anything over over 40 is no joke. Um, especially when I haven't even got in, um, you know, my, my six badge. Being level 40 is already impressive, I think. Although leveling up in this game is really easy, because not only do you have items to literally level up your Pokemon, but you have a, lot of, a strong wild Pokemon that can just die in one hit. It's all, it shows off as must muscles to my chosen other girders it fails to match up to other pokemon so it lies low for, if it fails to match up to other pokemon it lies low for a little while oh, i did not want to do that um sure okay um i have a golet back there i guess i don't need to switch my serena for now wait i do actually want to switch my serena because she's higher level I'm um, gonna we'll go with Toxtricity here. That was not what I wanted to do. 
Forgot Toxtricity has that magnet, so it'll do a little bit more damage with its electric moves. I really just went up here for a sign. What is this? Oh, I guess we see the Pokeball back there too. Hmm. Interest. How do we get that Pokeball? Check, check, check out glowing Pokemon dance in a white air to help you throw up watts. If you climb up all the way here, it's likely to spot two. If you've climbed all the way up here, um, you're likely to invest to sort to investigate every nook and cranny. So you're curious? Oh, I search out every last in the room. Why won't I to you? Okay, I just ran into a what's the Pokemon called? Takedemma. I don't know what this Pokemon called. Okay, it's a Togedemma. Togedemma. It's Gen. It's not this Gen. It's a last Gen Pokemon. A Sun and Moon Pokemon. Ran by um Sephoratus. I don't know his name, but yeah, you know this. this just a, just a just a Pikachu clone of Sun and Moon, I think. Okay, for this. Actually, this video is getting a bit long. 30 minutes already. We haven't really done much exploring, I don't think. But what do we do? We, did. we didn't do much this episode, did we? I don't know why. This episode just felt really slow. Um, we'll finish off that. And can't get a level fantastic. Um... Really, poly Pokemon with his long hairs on his back. Well, no, Mimikyu is the Pokemon, uh, Pikachu clone of last gen, right? I think it's Mimikyu is the Pikachu clone. Well, I mean, this is the rat electric Pokemon, I guess. What, with long hair on his back, this Pokemon takes in electricity from other electric Pokemon. It stores when it, it stores what it absorbs in the electric sack. I did golet won't let me pass. Have we caught a golet yet? I think we have. I, I we've seen them before for sure. Um, the last Pokemon we have we haven't seen before, but this yeah we've already caught it. Okay. I did not want to do that. Why did they do that? I clicked run, but I must have clicked my X button somehow. Don't tell me you're gonna catch. I do not want to catch you, my guy. That's a disappointing catch. <laughs> really, you could have been something else. Whatever, Pokemon or let's end. Oh, good, 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 ladder. Let's end this uh, video with a trainer battle here. And yeah, we'll call it that. Close examine of your health and your Pokemon or something. Dr. Joanna Rose Roselia. Okay, it looks like uh, toxicity here. Just oh, I did not want to nuzzle that, I wanted to T bolt. But I guess Nuzzling is fine, as long as I don't get poisoned myself. Oh, I guess I am poison type, so I'm not going to get poisoned. Poison Sting. Terrible move, because I'm poison type, and it's not very effective. And that will also not poison me, so it's really not useful at all. Yeah, I guess Roselia is really bad against other poison types, huh? Because grass doesn't do anything, poison doesn't do anything. You can't really poison your opponent. Half term? Half turn, half turn. Yeah, we've seen this before. It's a, a psychic Pokemon. Psychic, right? But we don't want it to hit our toxicity here, so we're just gonna kill it with one hit. Exactly. Okay, well, anyways, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I know it was a bit slow episode, but we're making a little bit of progress. We just caught a bunch of stuff this episode, I think. And Serena with those leftovers, man, it's taking a long time to uh, heal. But anyway, thank you for so much for watching. Next episode, we'll finish out. Time to fish out this route and go to the next. Ooh, we have a little bit of something back here, guys. Yeah, we'll go to the next route. Anyway, thanks for watching. We see a boulder on the other side. That's a cool. Shiny stone evolves something, I forgot. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Next time, continue this route.